On the 17th of July, I did a presentation about 1898 Manuel Ramirez shop burglary. Three people broke in and stole uh, two new guitars, one Bandoria, magnificent ornate laud, guitar picks. 16, one person had 16 pairs of castanets, another person had five pairs of castanets, and these were valued at a total of 587 pesetas. Well, last Saturday in my normal research, I came across the sentencing for these three burglars, which took place one year later. In the uh, El Coriel, El Corio Español, on the 16th of June, 1899, page 3, it was reported that the three burglars, a married couple and their son, would be sentenced tomorrow for the burglary they committed on the 6th of June, 1898. In another newspaper, the La Correspondencia de España on the 17th of June, the next day, in 1899, it was reported that the that two new guitars, one Bandoria, magnificent ornate laud, guitar picks, total of 21 pairs of castanets valued at 587 pesetas uh, had been stolen. The whole amount of goods stolen drew these print prison sentences. The woman involved got the longest sentence for being a repeat offender of the law. The 50-year-old, 54-year-old guy got four years. His son that was 19 years old drew a sentence of three and a half years. And the lady who, who was a repeat offender of, for thievery drew a sentence of seven and a half years. What was really interesting is the young burglar, the 19-year-old kid, he took two brand new guitars to a flamenco worker trying to sell them. I think most workers have people that are playing uh, used guitars, pre-owned guitars. So for somebody to walk in with two new guitars, hey, the kid is a compraste, would you like to buy this? It's pretty much a shock. Everybody knew the stuff had been stolen. That it was something that uh, Despite the fact everybody having been to 30 or 40 or 60 or 80 workers in their lifetime had never seen that happen before. I'll show you a picture of the newspaper clipping. Ladrones Alegres, the happy thieves.